put in the garlic. Yeah. What's the difference between a quiche and an omelet? Oh, good question. Quiche, he asked, what is the difference between a quiche and an omelet? An omelet, would, or a quiche would be baked in the oven and could be, you know, see how deep that is? It's, it, and it'll puff up even more in the oven, so it'll have some height to it. An omelet is a very thin layer of egg. At a, like a griddle or a pan, and then usually you put items in it and roll it up. So, yeah. So you this goes in the oven. Hmm? This will yeah. go in the yeah. oven and will bake for about 45 minutes to an hour. So, okay. we have another three pans that are already in the oven baking. Yeah. Is there anybody that didn't get the recipe and would like it? She didn't. She didn't. Okay. She's got it. Can we pass a recipe up for her? I got it. Oh, you got it now. Okay. You put in the thing. Watch garlic. If you don't have garlic, you use garlic. If you have one, you can throw this. Goes in. Almost anything can go in the Somebody's got some woods and you want to dig up wild grass. You jump over and pull them up. You can put dandelion greens in the springtime. You can find them young enough. Okay. okay. That's all there is to it. Just let me mix the stuff together. Break me up. Is that complicated? I'll be back. Well, milk milk for both sugar. Um, let it be a little bit older to, to be better. Why is that? Yeah, hard boiling. Yeah. For hard, he asked about hard boiling eggs. Okay. And um, general, general thinking on eggs: when an egg is fresh and laid fresh, the um, the, inter the in interior contents of the egg basically fill up the whole eggshell. Egg shells are quartz. So what happens is the moisture liquid content inside the egg begins to evaporate. And what that does is it separates away from the membrane wall of the shell. That's why um, it's best if to hard boiled eggs if they're about 10 days old because then some of that evaporative process has occurred. The, the, the interior contents of the shell have, have pulled away from the shell a little bit so that then you can peel the egg easily. Yeah. Other people, I, I know a lot of people who, who hard boil eggs fresh and there are some different techniques that you can do that make it easier to peel them. Um, I'll sometimes just lightly tap the egg so there's a slight crack in the shell and that way a little bit of water can get right inside the shell and it gets in between the shell and the membrane that holds the contents of the eggs in. And, and that, will, that will also aid in doing that. Um, there are people who say if you, if you put the eggs in cold water, bring it up to a boil, and then let it cool, that sometimes that works as well. It just, I, I say just, you know, try it and see. But so generally if you have a... If you have an older egg that's a week or two weeks old. Are you old. saying that the, the contents is smaller so that there's more room for it to expand when it hardens? Yes, that's true, but it also separates away from the shell. Oh, it separates away from the shell. So when it separates away from the shell, it makes it a little bit easier to peel the shell off. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. oh.
to be the Julian calendar date for um, supermarket eggs. That is, uh, a Julian calendar works on a numerical system, so every day of the year has a number um, attached to it. So January 1st is 1, January 2nd is 2, January 3rd is 3. It goes all the way to 365, right? So that Julian date is on the calendar, and that is, I believe, supposed to be the date the eggs were laid. Oh, thank you. Generally speaking. So how long did you keep eggs last Sunday? According to the USDA, the sell-by date is 30 days past the packing date. Then beyond that, you can keep eggs refrigerated for at least six weeks. I can tell you anecdotally, we have left eggs sitting on our countertop for four months and eaten them, and they were just fine. But these are organic. We, we do have organic. That is exactly true. That is exactly true. Organic and and free range, pasture raised eggs are, have a totally different nutritional profile than supermarket eggs. And um, we were going to crack open one of these so that you could look at them and see the difference. Maybe Gary will do that and we'll pass that around. Okay, let me go to the next questions because I want to make sure everybody gets their questions answered. I have okay. two. Okay. One, do you sell those very large eggs? Those very large eggs, turkey eggs? Yes. Yes, we, we sell turkey eggs when we have them available. Turkeys are seasonal layers. Um, they lay in clutches and then they stop for a while and rest and then they'll lay in another clutch. So they might do a couple of clutches a year. And we do have them. Uh, when they're available, we do have them at the farmer's market in Fredonia. And how much are your regular eggs and how much are your turkey eggs? Our organic um, chicken eggs, a, a large, a box of large chicken eggs is $4.25, and the dozen turkey eggs are $6. Will they keep us long? Uh, they will. Well, I'll tell you a little secret. One of the college students told me he figured out that the turkey eggs were about double the size of a chicken egg. And when, when he priced it all out, he said, it sounds like a lot of money at $6 a dozen. He said, but I figured out I've, I'm getting two chicken eggs for every turkey egg. And so he, said, he figured it out. He says, it actually comes out to about $3 a dozen when I look at it that way. So. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how you make it. Are you cooking it as two eggs? I mean, two eggs, chicken eggs. Generally speaking, I mean, you know, if you looked at a dozen turkey eggs, you'll see some giant ones and some smaller ones. So they're, you know, they are different sizes. I I have never seen a turkey egg with a double yolk. I know they're huge. Well, turkeys are bigger than chickens, so <laughs> they got to start out bigger. They got they got a long way to go. Is there any difference in the taste of turkey versus? You know, um, generally, um, generally they're very similar in flavor. I think they tend to be a little bit richer because um, turkey eggs have a bigger yolk. So it's a, it's a little richer in the flavor because you've got more of that yolk flavor in there. More cholesterol. <laughs> Possibly a little more cholesterol. Uh, uh, that, that's a whole other ball of wax. That's a whole, that's a whole other discussion. We could, we could do a whole program on that. I have a teaspoon of salt here. I did not put any salt at all. You don't need to. You don't, you don't, you don't need to. That's your preference. So you can write optional after the salt. Or you can put a quarter teaspoon and not at all. The recipe is a guy. I, I watch my salt and I, I'm going to leave that whole teaspoon right out. Okay. Yes. What makes a double yolk? Excellent question. Generally speaking, um, when, a, when, a, when an egg has two yolks in it, it's, it's kind of a mistake. It often, it often occurs. Uh, with young layers when their reproductive systems aren't very mature. Um, and so sometimes what will happen is, is two eggs will end up coming down the track at the same time and they get bundled up in the, in the shell together.